Hello Lagos and hello Diaspora. I'm here with a very important guest, the Special Advisor to the Lagos State Government on Sustainable Development Goals and Investment, Mrs. Sholakbe Hammond. How are you doing, man? I'm very good. Thanks for having me. Thanks and hello to all our Nigerians and Negotians in Diaspora. Yes, thank you for that. So we just realized that what you're doing is a great work. The volunteers ensuring Lagos um, is in line with the sustainable goals globally. And also, you are the center for investments when it comes to Lagos State. Diasporas are always looking, how can they invest in Lagos? Excellent. I mean, I think everyone's sort of been targeting the diasporans ever since, you know, the studies that show just how much remittances are coming. But for us, Lagos is not just, Lagos is not just targeting you. Lagos is an opportunity. Lagos wants to collaborate with you. And that's why we're very excited to be talking about the 30-year development plan. As we all know, the most important thing to an investor is certainty. You want to understand the environment. You want to be sure you know what the challenges are and what the opportunities are. And what that plan does is show you that. It doesn't tell you that we're perfect. It tells you what needs to be done and it tells you how to do it and it tells you how you can get help doing it and it tells you how you can collaborate with us because we want to support you to invest we want to support you to help Lagos thrive we want to support you to you know onshore your money or onshore yourselves and you know eventually become repats we don't want you to stay in diaspora forever but we want to tap into the expertise you have tap into the funding you have tap into the connections you have tap into the knowledge that you have so that you bring all that to bear we bring what we have you bring what you have and together we build a Lagos that will be a $1 trillion economy in the next 30 years. Fantastic. A $1 trillion economy with your visionary plan with the governor of Lagos State. This will be a reality, no doubt. We know that SDG and I is like you're managing two kind of ministries. <laughs> so the sustainable government goals, there are many diasporas out there who may have access to green funding, you know, things that can um, that are environmentally and climate friendly. So how can they also bring innovative ideas to you and what do you have in store for them? That's a very excellent point. In fact, many people who hear that SDGs and investments sound like they're far off, but they really are not. Mm. And really while we're at it, I actually have five portfolios. Five. It's investment promotion and attraction, it's ease of doing business, yes. because you have to make sure that when the investments come in, people or the investments can come in easily, and when they've come in, the businesses can function Sorry. easily. We facilitate trade, mm -hmm. we build partnerships or relationships, responsible for liaising with other states, other countries, uh, chambers of commerce and so on, the diplomatic core, and we mainstream the SDG. So we have five portfolios in one, but you know, it's Lagos, we can do this well. So how can people tap into that? Yeah. And I'm glad you talked about that. Everyone knows, uh, for those who follow closely, Lagos has been working on a green bond and a blue bond. We're looking very much at sustainable funding, yeah. and there's so many more opportunities for that. What we've done is we've documented the things that we do, in, a, in uh, the opportunities that are there today in 11 major uh, ministries or areas, uh, focal areas, into something called the Deal Book, which is available. You can go to our website and you can see what those opportunities are. And a lot of those already tie into or are laying a good foundation for what it is that we're trying to do with the development plan. So all of that is already very, very, very well uh, aligned. So how can they get that deal book? What is your website address and information they can reach you on? Okay, so it's Lagos SDGs and Investment. But even if you put in Lagos Global, which is our former name, you'll find us online. I think we're certainly number one or two whenever, even if you put in Lagos Investments, our office should pop up. So the Office of SDGs and Investments, Lagos Office SDGs and Investments, we also have, of course, our social media handles. Lagos SDGs and Investment, always. So you can find us either on social media or through the website. You can also in email us as osdgi at lagosstate.gov.ng. Yeah. We look forward to hearing from you. Definitely. And you can hear the SA Special Advisor has, in, the, in her statement, she used the word very, very um, frequently, often. Support, 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 support. That's what she's there to do. Support you in investing in Lagos, the center of excellence, the economic hub of Africa. You have the opportunity to do so. And it's available to support you. And I also am here to support you. I will signpost and link you to the necessary people um, like our wonderful SA, Sholakwe Hammond. <laughs> Thank you very much. We had a surprise visitor, a surprise on, visitor. The, on the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, this thing's happened. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying connected. Great things are going to happen for you and for us here in Lagos. Thank so you. keep believing in the dream for a greater Lagos. And thank you so much, Essie, for joining us. Always a pleasure. Thank, thank you for the great work. Thank you too. Bye. Bye.